You. I didn't expect to see you here. A question that I've seen popping around in the wake of Boba Chapter 6 is that of the meeting between Ahsoka Tano and Luke Skywalker. As most of you know, Ahsoka was the Padawan of Luke's father, Anakin Skywalker, and thus one of Luke's only connections to who his father was before he became Darth Vader. So much like your father. While it only makes logical sense for the surviving Jedi to work together, the real question is how they found each other, so that is the question that I am here to discuss today. I'm an old friend of the family. Now, the first option would be the Seeing Stone on Tython. We know, obviously, that Ahsoka is aware of the Seeing Stone since she was the one who suggested it to the Mandalorian and sent Din Djarin there to find it so that Grogu could find other Jedi. Go to the planet Tython. There you will find the ancient ruins of a temple that has a strong connection to the Force. Place Grogu on the Seeing Stone at the top of the mountain. If he reaches out through the Force, there's a chance a Jedi may sense his presence and come searching for him. It seems plausible for Ahsoka to use the Seeing Stone to find Luke, at least from a practical standpoint, but I'm not sure that it resonates from a character standpoint. You see, Ahsoka is largely on her own at this point. Prior to the Book of Boba Fett, she showed little interest in rebuilding the Jedi Order or joining with other Jedi. I am no Jedi. We have seen Ahsoka working with other Jedi such as Ezra and Kanan in Star Wars Rebels, but that was more in aid of the Rebellion rather than the fact that it's because they were Jedi. Furthermore, when we look at what Ahsoka was doing in The Mandalorian versus what she's doing in Book of Boba Fett, in The Mandalorian, her goal was to find Grand Admiral Thrawn and stop him, and now she's here helping Luke start a Jedi Academy. It was her motivations that changed between the two shows, not Luke's motivations, which implies to me that it was Luke who sought out Ahsoka and changed her goals rather than the inverse. So while it's possible that Ahsoka did use the Seeing Stone to find Luke, I think it's more consistent with the characters that Luke was the one who went out to find Ahsoka. But how? How did he know who she was, where she was, and all of that? As I said, finding Ahsoka is consistent with Luke's goals, his desire is to rebuild the Jedi Order, and Ahsoka would be an influential participant in that goal. It seems that Luke and Ahsoka were unaware of each other by the time of the Mandalorian, otherwise Luke probably would have sought her out earlier, or Ahsoka would have known to send the Mandalorian straight to Luke. It isn't until after Luke acquires Grogu that he also finds Ahsoka and teams up with her. While it is yet to be confirmed, I believe that the answer can be found in the Mandalorian Season 2. Is he speaking? Do you understand him? In a way, Grogu and I can feel each other's thoughts. I would imagine that, upon bringing Grogu with him, Luke would attempt to communicate with Grogu in a similar way that Ahsoka did, and upon doing so, Luke would likely retrieve the memory of Ahsoka's encounter with Grogu and the Mandalorian Din Djarin. I believe that the Ahsoka series will open with a prelude, much in the same way that the Book of Boba Fett did, wherein it actually shows the first ever meeting between Ahsoka and Luke. But those are just my thoughts and predictions. I want to know what you, my friends, have to say about our favorite galaxy far, far away, so leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, or if you learned absolutely nothing new, you can feel free to leave a thumbs down, completely guilt-free, because that tells me I'm not doing my job. As a reminder, as always, I am once a month posting my like to dislike ratio on my Twitter and in my Discord, so you guys will have access to those since YouTube apparently doesn't want you to see them. Just because YouTube doesn't want you to see them doesn't mean I don't want you to see them. So those ratios will be posted for everyone to see for the sake of transparency and accountability. Feel free to check either of those links down in the description below if you want to take me up on that offer. But in the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, may the lore be with you now and forever.